Hi, this is Richard C. answering a question submitted by a student. Uh, this is coming from calculus, and it's uh, in the uh, section of calculus called related rates, uh, which is a very important part of calculus. And uh, so I'm going to just uh, sketch a situation. We have a police officer that's a half mile south of an intersection. So here's Here's the intersection right here. So that's going to be half a mile. And this is the police here. And he's driving north at 35 miles per hour. And there's another car that's a half mile east. Well, it's a half mile here and it's headed away from the intersection. Police car is headed up to the intersection. And it's traveling at an unknown speed. Now the officer, he shouldn't be doing this because he's driving, but uh, he points his radar gun at the other car so that's the radar gun there he points the radar gun at the other car and he sees that the other car is increasing their rate of speed let's see oh 20 miles per hour the officer's radar gun and it indicates 20 miles per hour when pointed at the other car so he's moving it 20 miles per hour when pointed at the other car that is the straight line distance between the officer and the other cars oh i see all right so i put it in the wrong spot so we'll just erase that So the straight line distance between him is uh, 20 miles. It's um, it changes. Well, it's at 20 miles per hour now. No, it's just increasing. This distance here is just increasing by 20 miles per hour. Okay. So let's put a solution in here. I'll just change colors just to indicate we're no longer in the in the reading mode here. So we're just gonna we can see that this is a right triangle, so I'm gonna use this ABC, which is the uh, classical Pythagorean theorem. And we know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, so we have one half squared plus one half squared equals c squared. So let's solve that. So you're going to get one fourth plus one fourth, which would be two fourths equals c squared. So c is going to be equal to square root of one half which we could write as square root of two over two okay and i'm going to stick with the a squared plus b squared equals c squared so we know that c is equal to um, square root of two over two all right, now we'll do some calculus here. So a square plus b square equals c square, and we're going to differentiate with respect to time. So it's going to be 2a times dA dt plus 2b times dB dt equals 2c 
times dc dt. Okay, now we have to fill in what we know. Well, we know that a is a half, so we've got 2 times 1 half. And we know that the police car is headed toward the intersection at 35 miles per hour. Well, this means that A is decreasing. This distance between the police car and the intersection is decreasing at the rate of 35 miles per hour. So I'm going to put a negative 35 here. Plus 2. And we know that B is initially a half here in the snapshot that we've got on the left. And then we don't know what dBTT is. We have to solve for that. They want to know what is the speed of this other car. And this is equal to 2. We know that C is square root of 2 over 2. And we know that it's increasing at 20. So DC DT is 20. OK, so now it's just some algebra. So this is going to get us negative 35 plus dBT, dB, the tongue twister, dB DT is equal to 20 root 2. And so dBT, dB, DT has to equal 20 root 2 plus 35. And that's our answer. Okay, so um, the Pythagorean theorem is actually used quite a lot in related rate problems, so you, you should get used to seeing them there. Um, they're often, more often, I would say they're they're, in general, they're going to be equations from geometry. So you would have seen Pythagorean theorem in geometry, and you'll have seen the volume of a cylinder, let's say, in geometry. And those are the kinds of things uh, that tend to be used in the, uh, in the related rate problems. Okay, well, I hope this was helpful to you, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.